So welcome back and on today's show, Natural vs Fake, we've been discussing everything from plastic surgery to natural food. But joining us now in the studio is Janie Lee Grace. Welcome, Janie. Well, great to be here. So I know you've heard all our little debates in the break as well, so please feel free to share your opinion um, on the subject. So you've been making notes. Yeah. <laughs> so you've uh, obviously written uh, plenty on the subject about natural health things like we've got one of your books on the table which I love the title which you look great naturally without ditching the lipstick without yes. ditching Gemma the is lipstick great, yes. great, great I love it of. so yeah. you created the brand um, Imperfectly Natural as well what kind of led you to come up with that well what happened was I'm, I work on the radio and oh. as part of my work I was always banging on about natural living and how you can clean your home without chemicals and do your laundry without chemicals and you can wear natural makeup and eat organic food and all of that stuff and a publisher actually came to me and said would you like to write a book I hadn't even thought about writing a book at that point and so I ended up writing the book and then I had to come up with the title and I was really concerned about calling it just natural beauty or right. natural because I thought actually I don't get absolutely everything Everything right and mm. I'm guessing no one does right so the most important thing for me is to do the bits you can it's that small change big difference approach that's not to say that I'm not really passionate about this and I'll definitely take you girls aside and just <laughs> say a couple of things <laughs> But, but I did realise, you know, I've, I want to be realistic. I want to be able to encourage people to do this realistically. And that's why I came up with the title Imperfectly Natural. So that's my website and the first series of books that I wrote. Wow. Uh, the first I, I one's called that. Imperfectly Natural Woman. And I think it resonated with people because what I always say in the books is, look, read this stuff. And if you just feel overwhelmed, don't panic. Just, just start with one thing. Just choose a natural deodorant or pick up a lipstick that's natural. And then do the bits you can yeah. when it when it resonates and I think that's the the key because yeah. when people you know think about going natural and like everything has got to change at once let me get yeah, this out of the, the drawers exactly. let me do this get rid of it and then you know then it's like oh I don't I actually can't know do how it. to exactly. cook yeah. with these kind of things like, yeah. you know can I have this can I have that and it's like then people give up exactly yeah, we exactly. end up beating ourselves up so it's much better just to do the one thing when you run out of something just say well I wonder if I can replace this what I've done is I've made it my absolute business to find the best of everything and the DIY versions as well of course yeah. so you don't always have to spend lots of money mm. you know I reckon there's lots of skincare you can make yourself and take that totally natural approach mm -hmm. and I also source all the best products I don't sell anything but I, yeah. I make it my business to try and keep on top of, of what's out there because you know as someone said earlier there is a natural alternative to everything and we already mm. have it all mm. yeah. we have everything we need actually mm. nature has provided yeah. it all for yeah. us yeah. But it's just that you know sometimes we, we either forget or we're in a rush yeah. <laughs> so it, we, we forget the stuff that actually is common sense most exactly. of it is common sense yeah. Yeah. yeah I want to just backtrack a little bit so you used to be a singer now in your yeah. in your career as a singer you actually did backing vocals for George Michael yes I worked with George oh, yes yes amazing yes. and you actually had a top 10 single I did yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my dim and distant past coming out oh, yeah. my, <laughs> my rock and roll days exactly yeah. exactly yeah so you know before the break we were talking about people in the public eye and this pressure yeah. to look good why do you think there's such a pressure when you're I, in the I public know. eye I, I do I find it so fascinating I heard somebody talking about this and saying that in the 1950s obviously the 40s but even, even as late as the 50s, if you saw a woman who had, uh, had a boob job, mm. had hair dye, had her teeth whitened, maybe had some kind of surgery, had nail extensions, that would be a film star. Wow. And only a film star, right, right? right? And real women still look beautiful, yeah. But they were real women, and yeah. you, no one would expect a normal person mm. to have those enhancements. Mm. But now it's become almost the norm. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, you know, I fear for my little girl. You know, I've got yeah. a ten-year-old, yeah. and I, in fact, I, I go out of my way to try and find for her images of people. One where they've been photoshopped, one where they haven't. So she's yeah. really starting to to oh, get it now. Right. She'll pick up a mag and she'll go, "Oh, look, mum, that one hasn't been photoshopped." Of course, really it doesn't good. happen very often, does it? I actually really love that, and that's such a great Approach, idea. And yeah. I think that's a great statement for a lot of people yeah. to take. Because I, mean, I don't have children yet, but that is my But it is fear. a concern, though, isn't it? it, it is is. Almost as soon as they get into their early teens, mm -hmm. they start thinking about having their teeth whitened or yeah, having yeah. or whatever it like might be. And, and, and you know what I find really interesting? You know, you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. There mm -hmm. is a pressure, and mm -hmm. there's a huge pressure for celebrities. I mean, yeah. huge pressure. 
Um, but what's really interesting is I've met over the course of the years in the work that I do, I've met loads of Hollywood stars. I've met loads of actresses and lots and lots of famous people and, and amazingly beautiful women. But you know what's really interesting? The people who are nice, the people who've got a great energy, they're the ones who are attractive. Yes. It's so fascinating. It doesn't matter how much work you've had done. doesn't matter how much makeup you're wearing. doesn't matter how designer your clothes are. Something Once you get past a certain age, yeah. probably yeah. about 40, <laughs> the kind of person you are yeah. shows in your face. Yeah. I really believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And I've met celebrities who, although they're perfect, literally perfect, yeah. They've got no sex appeal. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Even the guys that I work with will say that. It's not yeah. just me. Yeah. And, and yet we've, we've, we've met women um, in their 70s, even into their 80s, mm. and they've got such a vibe about them. The mm. room lights up when they walk in. I, yeah, you know? I, yeah. I really believe that. I, th yeah. I don't think it's about w what bits you enhance and how much you pay for surgery mm. or whatever. I think it's about the energy. I think yeah. it's about your yeah. energy. Yeah. But of course, at the same time, you know, you can look great naturally and... Keep your lips <laughs> Exactly. Just make it a natural organic one. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but I just love that about that it is about empowering the, the, the next generation yeah. because I think it's a scary time for them to yeah. be perfectly honest. Yeah. That they've come into a world where we have, I mean, we're having this debate now about natural versus fake, but for a lot of them, they won't know about what women used to look no. like. Yeah, the images yeah. that they've seen are the ones that are the photoshopped mm. and the yeah. extreme skinny yeah. and, and, and all of this. So it is really important that we. Yeah put that mm. statement out there that, mm. you know, that they need to be confident who they are as they look mm. and changing these things. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 It's so funny because you talk about, you know, celebrities that you met and I was really thinking about, you know, confidence and inner beauty. And a lot of the time it's such a cliche, you know, oh, it matters on what's on the inside. Mm. And mm. you do wonder if people actually believe that nowadays, but actually it does really affect your appearance on the outside. If you're unhappy within, I yeah. find that it really reflects. So you can have the most perfect makeup, like you said, but if you're unhappy within, then it's actually going to come out on the outside and people will see that. You it's know? absolutely true. I mean, yeah. with my other hat on, the other yeah. thing I do is I, I work with people who are um, sort of trying to get their message out there to a wider audience. Maybe they've just started a business. And so I help them get their kind of USP together. Mm. And one of the things I often talk to people about is confidence and how they're going to, if they're going to have to stand and speak in public or be interviewed and something like this to talk about their work, they've got to have that confidence. And what's really interesting is over the course of my work, I've started to realise that even people who are very, very successful and beautiful or whatever it is they are, we've all got that inner talk. Mm. And particularly women, we get to that mirror in the morning. In fact, I've heard it said that if the stuff we say to ourselves in our head was spoken out loud and there were a little child there, we'd probably be done for abuse. Yeah. Because the inner talk that we all speak is terrible and we yeah. all do it and you know it's difficult to stop it you can't stop it mm. but you can notice it recognize it and actually say well is that is that actually true yeah is that true because yeah, often yeah. it isn't and when you can tame that inner talk and just get a handle on actually you know i am okay i'm enough yeah. and all of that yeah um that can start to sort of show in you in, yeah. in your face yeah, and i do think it all links very much to, to confidence yeah. I think you're right. yeah yeah definitely because some people they look even older i know somebody he is only 52 and you know in in our age before we were thinking about it, like years ago maybe that would be seen as oh really old mm. but nowadays it's not and he is so miserable about life and he complains all the time that he actually looks like he's about yeah. 70 yeah. Like he's added years to it because he's just so miserable and he groans all the time and he's unhappy and I do think that you know what we have in, inside really comes out on the outside yeah, definitely yeah. definitely it's all about energy it yeah. really is yeah. yeah I mean I'm a very big fan of Louise Hay I'm a Hay House author yeah, yeah. and you know look at Louise Hay, she's isn't it 89, isn't it? Louise yeah. Hay's the most yeah. amazing woman, yeah, founder right. of Hay House Publishing, yeah. 89. Her thing is love yourself. That's mm. her thing. She, in fact, she tells us all, she carries <laughs> a mirror in her bra. Oh, carries wow. a tiny little mirror in her bra so she can whip it out at all times and say, I love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not very British, is it? <laughs> it's, it's maybe we should do British. more exactly. of that. Exactly, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I should. It's like the thing, I mean, I've said it to someone before, like when you give someone a compliment and you say, you know, your hair looks nice, oh no, oh, that, oh, it's a bit, oh, but it's a bad yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's We're our go-to yeah. almost sometimes to be like, yeah. oh no, instead we should just say, Thank you. Yeah. Thank own you. it because yeah, someone saw it. it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So they're not lying. To you. No one's going to come up to you and say, you know, your hair is great when it exactly. actually looks awful. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, you know, it's just it's like a culture do, thing. It? Yeah, it's yeah. almost like a culture thing. I want to ask you a question, Janie, though. <laughs> what would you say, in your opinion, is growing old gracefully? Because you've heard our opinions. You've definitely heard mine. <laughs> but just, to, just to reiterate. <laughs> 
give my opinion. I was counteracting. Yes, she did. Yes. Okay. Um, well, um, it, I do think it's a really interesting one. Yeah. I, I personally would avoid any kind of surgery mm. like the plague. Mm. Um, my, my attitude there is, why would you go in hospital ever if you haven't got to? Yeah. I mean, seriously. I know. That, that pain Let's hope, stuff. you know, yeah. there but for the grace of God. Yeah. I don't, want, a pro I don't yeah. want any kind of problem that takes yeah. me to hospital ever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, That's a good let alone needing to pay for it. I know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and have to recover, please. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I absolutely you don't buy that one yeah um in terms of all the other stuff for me it entirely comes down to the chemicals mm. my big thing is ditch the chemicals yeah go with what's natural because there is a natural approach to absolutely everything mm. so i don't buy the chemical mm. stuff the fillers the whatever it is i just don't want to put potentially toxic chemicals into my body because the fact is we're surrounded by enough of it already I think we can take control over what we put on our body. We can choose the products we buy. We can choose what we clean our home with. We mm. can choose what we wear. We can't choose much else. You know, the pollution mm. is out there, what's coming off the walls or mm. whatever it is. Yeah. So there's already going to be stuff. We are going to be hit with pollutants, whatever happens. Mm. Yeah. So I would say don't choose to then fill your cheeks with it or whatever it might be. Yeah. So I do think in terms of growing old gracefully or aging gracefully, I just think it goes back to what I was saying earlier about, I mean, yes, look after yourself eat good food mm. and and do the exercise you need to do and of course choose some some you know nice organic natural makeup yeah. and 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 do your hair nicely and mm. don't use toxic dyes and mm. so on and so on and so on but ultimately it's about happiness yeah. and, and and you know as i've said i've got one one girlfriend who is i suppose she must be in her 50s actually um she never wears makeup that's just her thing she's mm. never worn makeup mm. in fact we had a whole debate whether she should wear it for a wedding she was going to because mm. she thought oh, if i if i sort of rock up i might scare the horses <laughs> 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 Joking me. I can't, I can't imagine her with makeup yeah. Yeah. because she never wears it. That's yeah. how she looks, and she's, she, she just radiates that, yeah. Yeah. that kind of natural look. Yeah. Now, I mean, oh, for me, you yeah. know, often people will say to yeah. me, Oh, you're always banging on about being natural. <laughs> why are you wearing makeup? Like, yeah. If I don't, I look like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That's why. I, you know, I like wearing makeup. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, they do say don't put anything on your skin you can't eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly, what yeah. I choose. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat it, but I yeah. could. <laughs> So yeah, so I, I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, that does. But I think it's take it care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. Actually, I don't. I don't think you have to live yeah. up to anyone else's standards of, of, of cutting bits of your body off yeah. or sticking it on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Question, because you heard my comments earlier about knowing I should be a lot more naturally aware, but not making time for it. Yeah. So what got you into you know promoting natural health? What was your trigger essentially? Yeah. Well, as with so there were two triggers really, and as yeah. with so many people, one of the first things was I had a little minor illness. Mm -hmm. a long time ago about 20 years ago and that little minor il illness suddenly made me think oh my goodness what I'm not immortal really yeah. okay let's right. find out what might have caused that so yeah. I looked first at diet as most people do mm. and looked at my diet and sorted that out and only then after I'd looked at the diet I realized actually you have to look at the holistic picture that's yeah. why I talk about holistic living it, it's no good just eating super well if you're then putting absolute toxic stuff on your skin mm. it's no good looking after your skin if you're eating rubbish but you're miserable all the time like mm. you mentioned your friend so yeah. I started looking at the holistic picture and then the second trigger which is very common was when I had my first baby mm. um, I had my kids late so I had my first baby 17 years ago mm. and at that point it's like wow I'm I'm, what am I doing to the planet as well as everything else you know mm. being pregnant what yeah. chemicals are going in so that was a very big change yeah. okay what well, I've got this really the time has just like really yeah. run away from us but yeah. it's such a fantastic and encouraging yeah. um, uh, conversations that we've had and I think you said some really key things as well definitely we're going to try and, and take away look at what I'm putting on my skin and all <laughs> the but, no, thank you so much thank you so, really uh, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back with the final part of our show Natural Versus Fake